Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, uh, our second video in our series of videos dealing with functions, is going to have a look at some examples. Okay. Uh, so once again, to define a function, okay, uh, to to define to define a function, okay, uh, we must we must specify specify its 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 domain, its domain, and its codomain and its codomain. Okay, so the domain is the set of all values that the function can take as inputs. Okay, and its codomain is the set of values that these values could be mapped to. Okay, so uh, to define a function, we must well, I suppose we must specify two things. Yeah, we must specify its domain and its codomain, and and we must we must specify specify let's say the process the process uh, by which by which domain values domain values okay are mapped are mapped are mapped to codomain values codomain values okay values meaning elements okay because our domain is a set and our codomain is also a set so let's just keep that in mind that the domain values are sets okay that's a set and the codomain value is also a set and now let's just try to keep this simple okay so let's try to check to see whether some mappings that we're going to define are functions or not okay they will be relations but we want to find out whether they're functions so let's say let let a equal the set one two three and b equal the set let's say two three four and seven okay so i have an a and a b set okay and i'm going to define the function and let's define define uh, f to be a function that takes values in a and maps them into values in b okay actually at this stage what we're just going to consider is that f is let's say it's just a relation okay so it's just a relation so it's mapping values from a into values of b okay and the way it's going to work is it's going to work something like this okay so we have f is defined to be equal to the set of ordered pairs where we have one is taken to two we have 2 is taken to 4 and we have 3 is taken to 7 okay and the question is whether this is a function or not okay so is is f a function okay is f a function that's a question that we have okay so well, let's just do it let's just do a graph okay so let's let's do the graph of a okay so a okay or let's do the set for a a well a is the values 1 2 and three and let's do the set of b b are values two three four and seven and the function is defined to be this particular mapping here one is taken to two so one is taken to two we have two is taken to four so two is taken to four and we have three is taken to seven so three is taken to seven here okay this is the set b okay so what we know is this first of all okay first of all is that every value in a so we have condition one every value value in a is mapped is mapped to a value to a value in b okay that's good so that's the first condition for it to be a function is that well for for if just to have a function from a into b every value of a must be mapped into a value of b okay so we have that that's good okay and condition two is that we cannot we cannot have a have, have a mapping okay so we cannot have a pair a b okay and a pair a prime b prime okay that are elements of f that are elements that are elements of f okay uh, such that such that a is equal to a prime and b prime is that b prime is not equal to is not equal to b so we can't have any of these things in other words we can't have any double arrows if that makes sense okay we can't have ordered pairs okay where the first value are the same in the ordered pairs but the second values are different so we can't have any of them so have we any situations where the first value is the same and the second values are different well we don't have any double arrows going out so actually this is it is f 
is a well-defined a well-defined function okay so f is a well-defined function that's good uh, let's consider another function let's consider another example okay uh, once again uh, let a be let let a be the set one two and three and b be the set uh, two what did I say it was I said it was two three four and seven okay and and let and let uh, let's say G be a relation be a relation okay from from a into B okay so what we have is that G is a relation so it's a relation from a into B okay as defined it's defined by let's say g is the set is equal to the set of ordered pairs where we have one is taken to three we have two is taken to four uh, we have three is taken to seven and we have two is taken to let's say two is taken to two is taken to seven okay so let's draw the graph for this okay or let's draw the mapping okay so we have a mapping from a into B, if that makes sense. A is the set 1, 2, and 3, and B is the set 2, 3, 4, and 7. And G is a relation from A into B. It's a relation from A into B. And I suppose the question we have is, is G a function? Is it a function? Okay? Question mark. So let's actually just fill out the arrows. Let's fill out the mapping. So one is mapped to three. So we have one is taken to three. Okay, there's an arrow. We have two is mapped to four. So there's an arrow. Okay. We have three is mapped to seven. So three is mapped to seven. There's an arrow. And we also have two is mapped to seven. So there's an arrow here. Okay. So based off our conditions, condition one, we have, well, first of all, we have, we're saying that G is a relation from A into B. So G is a relation from A into B. For it to be a function, every value in A must be mapped into a value in B. Okay. And we clearly have, clearly, we clearly have every, every element, let's say instead of values, every element of A is mapped, mapped to an element, to an element of B okay so we have that